Hey guys, it's Sad, and today we have part two of the 110 Pokemon card PSA return. So with box number two, let's get straight into it. Let's see what we have. So we, we showed before we had some uh, some Shadowless Hollows. So those are pretty cool. Um, let's see what we get into. I think it'll be base unlimited now. Uh, so we have, first off we have a PSA six base set nine tails. So we're not lighting it on fire just yet. Um, but maybe we will soon, let's see. Yeah, so this one got a six because of the, first off, the white spots, a lot of white spots, some some deep ones too, like that one and some long ones right there. Uh, probably, yeah, a lot of scratches. So that'll do it right there. PSA six. So we'll put you right there. Next card, we're getting a little worse. PSA five base set nine tails. So probably gonna look just like the one we saw, but may have a little crease somewhere. Yeah, it's got something right there. It's not dust. I was gonna say it looks like a mark, but they usually they they put on here that it was marked. Oh, and look right there, it's got, I would say it's probably some sort of binder bend, bend from a, a binder. Let's see if we can show it again. Yeah, right there. Yeah, right there, you can see it. Which would be over here. Yeah, and then some sort of mark right there. That I'm sure that doesn't help the grade either. Um, but yeah. There you go, PSA five. Let's go the other direction. Okay, we we're back, we did we we're back to PSA six and a hollow needle king. Um, so this one's got a lot of scratches, just like that nine tails we just saw. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. It's got some white spots and a bunch of scratches. That'll get you a six. And next card, we have a PSA 9. So this one's really nice. We have a PSA 9 base set Needle King. So I can see right here there's a print line. So that might even be what kept it from getting a 10 because there's no other scratches on it. I mean, there's a tiny print line, but that's about it. The back is, the back is foggy. Um, the back doesn't have any Let's see, there's a tiny white spot there. Let's see if I can move this light a little bit. Yeah, but the corners look good. And a print line right there. So that is, this that print line is the reason it got a nine. But still, a very nice card. And here we have a PSA 5 Mewtwo, uh, hollow from base set. Um, let's see, this one probably has Looks like another binder bin right there. Yep. That'll do it right there. So you can see it, it's not as big as the other one, the nine tails, but it's still uh, PSA five. It's got a lot of scratches. Some dust on there. And white spots, especially on that bottom, it's really bad. Not too bad everywhere else, but that bottom is pretty bad. So we started off with 12 on nine tails. Needle King's 11, Mewtwo is number 10. So this is a PSA eight. This one's a lot better condition. You can tell, you can quickly tell from not having very many scratches. There's a big print line right there that you can, you can easily see. Um, yeah. Not too many white spots either. Very nice card. And we have number nine, we have a PSA 5 base set Magneton. This one's got lots of scratches. Let's see if it has a binder bin also. Looks like it does right there. That seems to be the theme here. I mean, but this one was in pretty bad condition anyway. It probably would have gotten a six even without that binder bin. Um, I think it would be on this side somewhere. Are you today? But yeah, that is PSA 5. 
Next card is, so we skipped number eight. We're down to number seven, a base set Hitmonchan. Looks like, it, I don't think that's a print line, but that's just some sort of line on there. Um, PSA six, yeah, it's got some scratches, not a whole, whole lot. Back looks decent. So this shouldn't be a six other than that line that's going across it. I would say it probably would be a seven or an, even an eight probably more towards an eight because it doesn't look bad at all except for that line. So whatever that line is, has to be why it got a six instead of maybe an eight. Interesting. All right, so now we have a another six. We have PSA six Machamp. So here's our number eight. So we got out of order there. We got a nine uh, and then we went to seven on Hitmonchan. Now we're back to eight on Machamp. Uh, so yeah, this one's got Got a fair amount of scratches. Some of them look pretty deep, especially the ones over here. And the back, back doesn't look bad. Yeah, it must have gotten a six because of those scratches. A lot of scratches. Let's put you down here. And we are down to number six. So we seven was Hitmonchan, six is Gyarados. So this is a PSA nine, it's a very nice card. PSA nine, base set Gyarados. Looks like a print line right there. You can even see it on the body. It's a pretty big one. But I don't see any other scratches. I mean, maybe a vertical one right here. Um, back looks... No white spots really to speak of, but the centering is off pretty bad. You can see the top versus the bottom. Left right is good, but let's see what it looks like on the front. Yeah, front centering is pretty heavy towards the towards the bottom and light on the top. So I'm surprised this even got a nine, but hey, I'm not gonna complain, there you go. Next up is a PSA seven. The centering on this one looks a lot better. Uh, base set Gyarados, but the scratches probably look a lot worse, but I'm not really seeing them. It's got some scratches, not terrible, terrible. Let's see what the white spots look like. Hmm. Not too many white spots. I mean, I would have I would have said this one would be an eight and the other one would be an eight just because of the centering, but I guess they split the difference and gave it a, a nine and a seven. Still averages out to an eight. Now we have a PSA six base set Clefairy. So we went down to number five. It's number five. And I believe Charizard is coming up. Do we have any Charizards? We will see. It's got some scratches. But not too, too many. Back looks decent. So I don't know why this one will get a six other than the, looks like a, a little binder bin right there. So this card was in really good condition, but it had a bind, binder bin, which would probably knock it down from, I'd say probably, probably an eight down to a six. So that's what a binder bin will do to you. And let's see if it's a Charizard. Yes, it is. So we have a PSA 5 base set Charizard. So I think, I think there's a lot of Charizards. I think the rest of these are gonna be base set Charizards um, because about a year, well, a little over a year ago, I bought a collection of Charizards. I think I had nine base set, or nine Charizards. Seven of them were, seven of them were base set Charizards. One was a base two. Charizard, and then one was a Team Rocket first edition that I sent off. That Team Rocket got a six. So these cards weren't super, super nice condition. Um, like that one got a five. This one got a six. The Team Rocket one I sent off got a six. Um, that base two Charizard's in this in this collect in this PSA collection. So we'll come up on it later. Um, this one got a six. Still cool cards to have. I mean, base set Charizard. That's the king of base set. And that's coming from me as a Blastoise fan. Um, PSA four. So yeah, we're middle of the pack here. We have a four, a five, and a six. So no, um, I mean, these are still worth a few hundred dollars each, but they're not, you know, not thousands, like a nine or <laughs> even a 10. Um, yeah, so there's a little something there, a dent going on right there. A lot of scratches. 
Don't really see a crease, but I didn't look at it too close. Something up there. Yeah, I don't see it on the back. Um, but probably a little crease too. We did see that dent. So this one is another PSA 4 base at Charizard. Very nice card. I'll probably end up keeping one of each grade just to have, just to build up one through 10. Um, I've got eight and nine, and so I need everything else really. So I'll have four, five, and six, uh, and then sell the duplicates on eBay. This one's got a little crease right there, you can see. Just quickly see it's a PSA five. Got some scratches too, of course. Um, two cards left, we have a PSA 3. Okay, so I'm keeping the 3, this one, a 4, 5, and a 6. And I've got an 8 and a 9. It's a lot of scratches right there. A lot of vertical scratches, like it was laid down and dragged uh, across something rough, some sand or something on a desk, some dirt. Uh, yeah, crease right there. You can see it on the front. Right there, you can see it. Yeah, pretty bad. All right, and let's see what the last one is. Is another four. So we have, let's see, one six, two fives, three fours, and a three. So yeah, middle of the pack. I'm sure that base two Charizard will be um, somewhere in that range too. But hey, I mean, I spent I think it was $900 on nine Charizards, which, you know, it's about $100 each. Um, yeah, so definitely made money on that. PSA 4. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite card from this, uh, this return. Um, and thanks for watching, guys.